This module will talk about how to keep your kidneys healthy, especially if you have risk factors for kidney disease. We are going to talk about some of the behaviors that can help you to keep your kidneys healthy, especially if you have risk factors for kidney disease. We talked about these risk factors in module two. We will also talk about how you can check for kidney disease. Healthy behaviors can help keep your kidneys healthy. These healthy habits include nutrition, physical activity, stopping or not starting smoking, limiting alcohol, getting enough sleep, and managing stress. Let's talk a little bit about each of these. Healthy eating habits can help a lot. This means drink more water than pop or sugary drinks like iced tea. Eat more fruits and vegetables. Canned or frozen fruits and vegetables are good, but choose fruits that are packed in water and rinse canned vegetables and beans to get rid of more salt. Limit salt as that can make your blood pressure go up. Learn how to cook as homemade meals are better for you. Learn how to read food labels, especially for the salt content. Eat with your family and not sitting in front of the TV or looking at your phone. Healthy eating can lower both blood sugar and blood pressure. Physical activity lowers blood sugar levels, helps control high blood pressure, improves blood flow to all of your body, burns extra calories so you can keep your weight down, improves your mood, can help you sleep better, and decreases your stress. If you have diabetes, you must plan ahead when you exercise so your blood sugar does not go too low. Exercise about 30 minutes, five days per week. This can include walking, skating, running, kickboxing, biking, canoeing, swimming, powwow. Try to include resistance training about two to three times per week, like lifting small weights or using resistance bands. Resistance bands are large elastic bands, and cans can work well as small weights. Stop smoking, vaping, and chewing tobacco, or don't start. Smoking increases blood pressure. Smoking decreases blood flow to all organs, not just the kidneys. Smoking narrows all the arteries which are blood vessels in the body. Smoking increases how fast the kidneys stop working. Limit alcohol. Drinking too much alcohol can cause high blood pressure, which can damage your kidneys, but can also increase risk of heart disease, stroke, and sleep problems. Current recommendations are that people should limit alcohol to two standard drinks per week. A standard drink is a 12 ounce bottle of beer, a five ounce glass of wine, or a 1.5 ounce of hard liquor. Get enough sleep. We are supposed to get seven to eight hours of sleep every night. Not having enough sleep can affect how our brain works, how our heart works, makes us hungrier which means we eat more and gain weight. Not having enough sleep makes our body cells more resistant to insulin, which leads to high blood sugars, which leads to kidney damage. Kidney damage leads to decreased kidney function, which leads to more sleep problems. Manage stress. What is stress? Stress is anything that can upset your mental balance. Managing diabetes or other health conditions is not always easy. Feeling sad or angry 
when you have a chronic health condition is common. Long-term stress can increase your blood pressure and blood sugar, which can cause kidney damage. Some ways to reduce stress include regular physical activity, breathing exercises, meditating, listening to music, doing a hobby, talking to a friend, spiritual leader, or other people. These six healthy behaviors, nutrition, physical activity, limiting alcohol, not smoking or vaping, getting enough sleep, and trying to manage stress will go a long way to helping keep your kidneys healthy. Diabetes is the most common cause of kidney disease. If blood sugar levels are high for a long time, the blood vessels of the body become clogged. A1C is a blood test done by your healthcare provider that shows your average blood sugar for the past three months. It is different than the blood sugar that you do on yourself. The higher the A1C, the higher your blood sugar levels have been. Generally, we would like to see the A1C test 7% or lower, but every person has their own goal. So, you should ask your healthcare provider what your goal A1C is. Many of the healthy habits we talked about will help you reach your blood sugar goal. Medications, both in pill form and insulin by injection, may be needed to help lower blood sugar levels. It is important to take your diabetes medications as recommended by your healthcare provider. Just like blood pressure, everyone has their own A1C goal. Ask your healthcare provider what your goal A1C should be. High blood pressure is a leading cause of stroke, heart attack, and kidney disease. High blood pressure develops over time and usually requires lifelong treatment. Keeping blood pressure under control can help prevent kidney disease or can help keep kidney disease from getting worse. It is important that people of all ages have their blood pressure checked regularly. Eating too much salt or sodium is one of the leading causes of high blood pressure around the world. Many of the healthy habits can also help keep your blood pressure under control. Everyone has their own blood pressure goal, so it is important that you ask your healthcare provider what a healthy blood pressure is for you. Over-the-counter medications, or OTCs, are usually taken for headaches, pain, fever, or colds. Some of these can cause kidney damage. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, are very popular and if taken in large quantities for a long period of time can cause permanent kidney damage. Examples of these are ibuprofen, Advil, Aleve, Naproxen. Some herbs and natural remedies can also cause kidney damage. Some herbs are not safe for anyone with kidney disease because they can make kidney disease worse. Examples of this are juniper berry, lovage root, and white sandalwood. Many herbs should be used with caution if you have high blood pressure or are on other medications as they can change how the medication works. Licorice root can cause high blood pressure or changes in blood potassium. Medline Plus is a good website for herbal information. And the final tip on keeping your kidneys healthy when you have risk factors for kidney disease is to have your kidneys checked at least once per year or as often as recommended by your family doctor or nurse practitioner. There are two tests needed to check your kidney function. A blood test for creatinine. This measures how well your kidneys are removing the waste products. 
If the blood creatinine is high, this means that the kidneys are not able to remove the waste products very well. The second test is a urine test for protein. Finding protein in the urine means the kidney filters are damaged. If you have risk factors for kidney disease, ask your family doctor or nurse practitioner to check your kidneys with a blood and urine test. In this module, we talked about some of the behaviors that can help you to keep your kidneys healthy, especially if you have risk factors for kidney disease. We also talked about how you can check for kidney disease. Two simple tests, a blood and urine test. If there is anything more you would like to know, please write down your questions and ask someone on your kidney care team.